Well, why do I stand in the door with the camera? Because the camera can't handle the cold when the battery goes dead quickly. So, we got snow. A lot of it. Not too much, though. And uh, this is Sunday. I normally do not do any work on a Sunday, but I have to get the chickens freed up. And that has to be done no matter what. Um, even Jesus mentioned helping an animal on a Sunday that wandered off or got lost. You have to feed them, regardless. So, we had quite a storm last night, and uh, it's time to dig out and free the animals and uh, free the solar panels. Solar panels are pure white. There is zero watts coming in, no power at all. So, exceptional. I have to make an exception today and and free the birds. Yeah, the birds are waiting for their food. Birds! They were crowing a minute ago. Um, it's afternoon and uh, we've got a, it's melting nicely here. It's 40 degrees out, it's beautiful. Really nice. But I have a surprise, a uh, new addition to the off-grid homestead. So I'm going to toss some food into the birds and then I'll, uh, I'll show you the addition that we've got here to the off-grid homestead. And these guys, they, need, they probably need some fresh water again. I never did show you the... Um, I went to Tractor Supply and got a uh, black rubberized black watering tray and actually it's it's um gets warm when the sun shines and it's giving me a prolonged it's almost like solar heated so it keeps my water from freezing longer during the day so that's so much better and it's rubberized so i can beat the ice out of it each morning so the birds are a lot better off with water now i'm better off because before i was constantly bringing out fresh water and the solar heater was costing me too much power. So this passively solar heated black water dish, which I'll show you as soon as the congregation is out of the gate, um, is so much better. So anyway, we'll be back in a minute here. Well, I have a Craigslist haul for the off-grid homestead. This is a unique Craigslist haul. Look at that. It's a pretty bird. You're calm now, aren't you? So we gotta clip your wings. What we gotta do is clip your wings because they're uh, new here and I can't have them flying away. The, uh, the birds that are already here are used to this place and they don't try to get out. But look at this. Look at this puffball on her head. That's a pretty girl. Oh, you're a pretty bird. There you go. So, this family was downsizing their flock and had to get rid of a bunch of birds. So, first come to serve, and I happen to be there. So, I've got me some birds. Remember, pass the self sufficiency, food, and income. Chickens are food and income. Provide me with eggs. All right, come on, girls. We got mostly girls, but there's a couple guys here and there. Uh, there's a uh, that's a girl. So soft. They're really soft, pretty birds. They're really docile after being in that cage. Really pretty birds. Really pretty birds. It's good they're so docile after being in there. Makes my job easier. There you go. Oop, oop, oop. There you go. <laughs> that was the big king rooster. He's like, what? What is going on? Look at that. 
This is a, a silky. You don't, you can't fly anyway, can you? Yeah, <laughs> like a lead weight. Silkies are lead weights. Silkies can't fly. Here's another one. That's more like a barnyard chicken. That's a mix, so it's got a weird cone on its head. A crown, I should say. I think you're a rooster, aren't you? Eh, we'll have to keep our eye open on any birds and make sure see who gets along with who and who doesn't. I'll be separating them soon as we get to thaw. There you go. They sure are docile. Who else we got in here? There we go. Another pretty soft bird. Look at that. Soft. These are all uh, one year old or less. So the egg layers are going to lay eggs. There you go. And one left, huh? You pretty bird. Look at that color. Look at the colors on that bird. Look at that. Yeah, you're a pretty bird, huh? My girls. My girls are going to lay eggs. Down in there. <laughs> the big guys are like, what? What is going on? Let me pause the camera. I'll be right back. So, a few more here. looking reddish color bird they're all mixed it's a big mixture of various birds there you go there's a there's a little rooster look at the feet feathery feet you got an interesting crown on them. Look at the colors on this bird. Let's see if I can see the camera view. It's so bright out, I can't really see what I'm showing you. Look at the colors on that. That's a pretty bird, huh? Pretty clean birds. They're all young. So the hens will be laying eggs. Boy, you're soft. Oh, you're soft. Oh, you're a pretty bird. Who's next? Yeah. Got the big boy. This is the big one of the bunch. Big, beautiful red. This one I'm going to have to wor worry about. He is a beautiful colored bird. The red is just incredible in the sun. Yeah, I'm gonna have to be careful with this guy and watch out for the, the fighting because this this is a big boy. I'm gonna keep an eye on these how they all interact in the next days here. Big uh, rooster is already establishing his position among the hens. Here's a unique bird. Look at that. See that head? Look at the feathers on her head. Yeah, that's a that's a unique bird. Again, the only reason I'm clipping them right now 
is so that they uh, can't fly. Because the, uh, once they, they're settled here, they won't try to get away. Mine never have, although they could fly out if they want. Here's another really special face on this bird. Look at the, uh, the feathers on the head. These are all what you would call showbirds, a lot of them. And they're soft too, really soft feathers. Really nice birds. Just a minute, you'll be free in a minute here. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> big guys establishing his role there. Now, the next step, I gotta check the bedding, make sure everything's clean tonight, redo all the bedding. You gotta check for eggs, because I've been gone half the day. Okay, I got a few more. Now oh, there is a, there's a, another unique bird. Feathered feet, big gray silver mane, and fuzzy feathers on the face. Look at that. See the feet? Fine feathers, almost like a baby bird, like a chick. This is a silky mix. Oh, you don't even need to be clipped. You can't fly. That's a silky. Yeah, you're pretty calm too, aren't you? Because they're all calm. Uh, very good birds. There you go. Freedom. Well, it's cool. The, uh, they're already learning where the chicken coops are. Oops. Get your head down. Now, there's a plain old white egg layer, but she's a mix because she's got that weird thing on the head. So she's a mixed breed. Well, that's, a, that's a big white egg layer. All right, you go on in there and start laying eggs. There you go. Who's next? There's a little teeny bird. Oh, look at the colors. That's a special one too. Look at this, soft. Look at the colors on that bird. Sorry, I can't see the camera, so I'm not sure if I'm showing you anything. Look at the colors. Look at that, the di different grays and browns and tans. That's a special bird. You're calm too, aren't you? Huh? You're a calm bird. See the feathered feet? This was a funny last in, last out. This was a gift as well. This was one of her favorites that she gave me. She was downsizing. She wasn't sure in the end and she said, here, I'm gonna give you this one as well. Uh, that's a silky, but I'm not quite sure if it's uh, up here because of the, uh, the feathers. No, it's not. I'm not sure actually. It's got the puff ball in the head, but it's not quite a not sure because a lot of these are mixed breeds. Not quite sure. Right, there you go. That's it. So, there's all the birds. Now, 
I've got to uh, go in and clean all the pans, make sure they got fresh bedding for tonight. It's going to be cold tonight, so I'm going to go get them all prepared and give them some extra food. And Oh, look at that one, that little puff ball. Can you see it very well? That's a soft, fluffy thing. Well, there they all are. That's a pretty one, too. It almost looks like a hawk with the colors. Look at the colors on that bird. That's special. That's really special. So, they all got to establish their uh, positions and find out where everybody's going to sleep now. There's three chicken coops, and my birds were only using one, so there's plenty of room. But, uh, like I said, I'm just going to make sure everything's cleaned up and ready for the new, new uh, additions. Well, a lot of work to do. Not much time left to do it, so I better get to it. Well... This is Sunday, as I said, I usually don't do video on Sunday, but we hit 44, well, I don't know, it might have been 46 out here in the meadow, because it's 4 o'clock in the afternoon now, and uh, it's past peak sun. Let me show you the solar over here. Sorry, I'm zoomed. The, um, this is exciting, exciting news. Now, the sun was shining most of the day. Um, 71 degrees. The batteries are at 71 degrees now. That is really exciting news. So, can't get better than that. So I can't wait to see if tonight I'm going to have some real usable energy, finally. If there's no usable energy now, after charging all day, then there's something wrong. Then I'll have to contact the uh, guys I bought it from, because 71 degrees, that, that, that's exciting. Really nice.